Now, when you repeat a course, when you're teaching a course this year that you taught last year, you don't have to recreate everything you did last year. Uh, you can import all your materials, your tests, your assignments, your handouts, everything. You can import those into your new course and then just make whatever changes you need to make from there. So here's the first step. In this video we're going to look at the first step and the first thing you have to do is to copy the grade settings. And it is essential that you do this first before you do the other steps. Uh, if you don't, then all of your assignments will have no grading category and you're going to have to go edit each one of them. So you need to do this first before you do the other steps. So to copy the grade settings, what you do is... So first, let's say that you have a course that you're going to be teaching this year. I have this course, Schoology Training Section 2. Okay, it's just a dummy course, but let's pretend. Okay. So what I need to do first is I need to get to last year's course. Go to last year's course. To get there, to go to the courses menu, pull that down to see all. Okay. Now, when you get to my courses, you will see there's current and then there's archived. Click the archived. That's where you'll find last year's courses. This will be for uh, all semesters of last year. Okay, now you notice you need to look for the right headings. I mean, over here you have, like in these small gray letters, you have the terms. Okay, this one's I taught last year. Here's from the quarter two. Here's from last summer. So anyway, you can find the right term. Okay, so let's say now that I want to copy from this course last year, this Office Productivity Applications from, this was from first semester last year. So I click on that, click on the section. Okay, now I'm in this course, go click on the grade book. And then in the grade book, click on the grade setup. Okay. Now in this upper right corner here, you see copy settings. So I'll click that. And then you check the boxes for what you want to copy. The essential thing is the categories. Okay, that's the things like projects, quizzes, tests, those, those categories that you have to find. You can ignore grading scales altogether. It doesn't matter whether it's checked or not because the school has set the grading scales. Uh, if you have set up rubrics in your course uh, last year that you want to use again this year, check rubrics. Okay. Then go down here and select the course that you want to copy it to. Okay. So I'm going to scroll down here. I'm going to copy it to. This is a dummy course here, Schoology Training Section 2. Uh, if you had more than one, you could check a bunch of them here. Okay, this lists all the courses that you're currently teaching. So you select that and then click copy. And then you get the confirmation the selected items have been copied. Then you're going to go back and repeat that for all of your other courses. Okay, so if you have other courses that uh, you have uh, that have different setups. That's the thing. If, if this setup here, the categories and the weighting, if that's different for other courses, then you want to do those. If they're all the same, then you can copy them all at once. And now if I go back to my course here, my Schoology Training Section 2, if I go to my grade book here and the grade setup, Okay, you see here, the categories have been copied, uh, the weights have been copied, okay, the grading scale is set to be standard, uh, like it should be. Okay, now you might need to go down here then and change these the way that we do them, which is to round the period and final grades. Uh, generally, we recommend that you hide the overall grade from student reports. Uh, but uh, do that, click Save Changes, and then you've got your setup in your new course. Okay, like I say, it's essential that you do this step first before you do the other steps. So in the next video, we'll show you how to import the materials.